Hello friends, welcome to Engineering Funda family. In this video, I will discuss about necessity of modulation. First of all, you need to understand why do we do modulation. See, message signal will be low frequency signal and by modulation, we convert low frequency signal into high frequency signal. So modulation is a process in which we change the characteristics of carrier signal with respect to modulating signal. So modulation that is a process of modifying carrier signal. One should know this carrier signal is high frequency signal. So in modulation we will be modifying carrier signal characteristics with respect to modulating signal. Modulating signal is message signal and this message signal is low frequency signal. So in modulation, we convert low frequency signal into high frequency signal. Here, we will be modifying characteristics of carrier signal with respect to message signal, right? So after modulation, we will be having modulated signal and that modulated signal is having frequency with respect to carrier signal and that will be high frequency signal, right? So role of modulation is to convert low frequency message signal into high frequency signal to enable better transmission in communication system. Now let me discuss about advantages of high frequency transmission compared to low frequency transmission. So here first advantage that is based on height of antenna or one can say size of antenna. Let me take one example. Let us talk about voice signal transmission. Like if you talk about my voice, then that is having approximated highest frequency that is 3 kilohertz. So if you talk about my voice transmission, then maximum frequency with my voice that is 3 kilohertz. This is approximated value. Sometimes it may go up to 4 kilohertz. Now with this frequency, if you identify wavelength, then that will be C divided by frequency. Here C is velocity of light in free space that is 3 into 10 to the power 8 meter per second and frequency is 3 kilo means 3 into 10 to the power 3. So this is 10 to the power 5 meter or one can say this is 100 kilometer. If you talk about height of antenna or if you talk about size of antenna then size or height of antenna that is approximately lambda by 4 right that depends on categories of antenna right now consider we have an antenna that is of lambda by 4 so here we will be having 100 kilometer divided by 4 means it will be 25 kilometer so do you think this size of antenna that is practical this size is not practical so here what we do is we do modulation in modulation we convert low frequency signal into high frequency signal let me take example see here let us consider we have carrier signal that is of 3 gigahertz so in this situation wavelength will be c divided by fc c is velocity of light in free space fc is 3 giga means 3 into 10 to the power 9 so 3 3 is getting cancelled 1 by 10 means 0 0.1 meter if you talk about length of antenna by lambda by 4 then this will be 0 0.1 by 4 means 0 0.025 meter or one can say 2.5 centimeter so this size of antenna that is practical right 2.5 centimeter size of antenna that is practical size 25 kilometer size of antenna that is not practical size of antenna right now let me talk about second advantage that is based on radiated power of antenna see radiated power of antenna that varies with respect to different antennas but still if you talk about dipole antenna then for dipole antenna radiated power that is proportional to 1 by lambda square 
Now here, if you observe lambda or y signal with 3 kilohertz, then it is 100 kilometer. So radiated power that is as per 1 by lambda square. It is proportional to 1 by lambda square. So with longer wavelength, radiated power of antenna that will be very less, right? And for shorter wavelength, radiated power that will be more. So what we do is we increase the frequency of transmission by which lambda that is getting narrow. And as we have smaller value of lambda, radiated power of antenna will increase, right? Now let me talk about next advantage that is based on multiplexing of signals. Let me take one example. Let us consider we are having three people. They are communicating as a voice signal and that we want to transmit. So here we have three people. Let us say they are having frequency F1, F2 and F3. So but obviously human voice they are having almost identical frequency, right? Like if you talk about men's, then they are having voice signal frequency up to 3 to 4 kilohertz. And if you talk about women's or girls, then they are having communication frequency up to 5 kilohertz, right? So here, there is a frequency up to 3 to 4 kilohertz with 3 users, right? Now, if they communicate with same frequencies, then what will happen? Then there will be interference, right? So if same signal transmission is happening, then there will be interference. Now to avoid interference, we can do multiplexing of signal that one can do with the use of modulation. Let me give you an example. See here, let us say F1 is having carrier frequency FC1 that is 1.01 gigahertz. This second user that is having frequency FC2 that is 1.02 gigahertz. And third user is having frequency that is FC3 that is 1.03 gigahertz. So if we transmit this signals, then there will be very less interference in between these three signals after modulation, right? So multiplexing that is possible due to modulation, right? Not only this, there are different types of modulation techniques. Let me list it over here. See, this is about frequency division multiplexing. One can have time division multiplexing. One can have code division multiplexing as well, right? So after modulation, we can implement these different categories of multiplexing by which there will be minimum interference in between users as well as one can have long distance communication, right? Now, let me talk about next advantage that is based on higher bandwidth. If you talk about voice signal, then for voice signal, what is the range of frequency? It is there from 20 hertz to 20 kilohertz. So one can say we have 20 kilohertz bandwidth. But if you do modulation, then bandwidth will be there in terms of gigahertz, right? Like if you have modulation at 10 gigahertz, then at 10 gigahertz of frequency, we have large bandwidth available, right? So after modulation, bandwidth increase. Now let me talk about one more advantage that is based on narrow banding at high frequency. One should know at lower frequencies, there is banding of signal with respect to curvature of earth that we utilize in AM transmission. But if you talk about low frequencies, then there is higher banding and at higher frequency, there is narrow banding. One should know, see if you talk about 3 to 30 megahertz of frequency, then with these frequencies, there is high banding. Let me show it to you over here. Let us consider 
here in India we have one tower and if we transmit the signal then with respect to curvature of earth signal will be having bending right but at high frequency there will be narrow bending almost one can say negligible bending is there if you talk about gigahertz of frequencies then for gigahertz of frequencies we have less bending or one can say zero bending and as we have zero bending we have line of sight communication let me show it to you let us consider here we have one tower and here we have satellite right now if you transmit the signal to satellite then straight transmission will happen over here straight transmission will happen and that will be line of sight transmission right line of sight transmission means straight transmission right so here there is zero bending at gigahertz of frequencies so we can have high power transmission over here at lower frequencies at 3 to 30 megahertz of frequencies there is high bending because of which there will be higher attenuation due to curvature of earth right so modulation that is a process by which we increase the transmission frequency and due to higher frequencies after modulation there are many advantage that we have it in communication system i hope you have enjoyed this still if you have any confusion just place that in comment section i'll be happy to help you thank you so much for watching this video